One of the reasons why on this channel I am oh so critical of equity-based curriculum is because in reality, we all know what is behind this. This is often supported by a Marxist philosophy, and contrary to what these people try to argue for you guys, it's not about bringing the poorest people up. It's not about bringing the least successful up higher. It's about bringing the most successful down to the lowest common denominator. And a perfect example of this is this story out of Culver City, California, because they have decided, based on the fact that they have a racial equity curriculum, something that I've been warning about in this country for years, that the only solution to not having enough blacks and Latinos in their English honors classes is to get rid of those English honors classes. So rather than have curriculums that match kids who achieve, what they're going to do is create a lowest common denominator, one size fits all curriculum, because honestly, if blacks and Latinos aren't doing as well in English as Asians, that must be a consequence of evil white racism, and we must fight back against evil white racism above all else. Now, we're going to get into the story, but before we do that, I just want to thank my members for actually supporting this channel, actualjusticewarrior.com slash join, early access to videos. Great, appreciate it, and all that. Let's get into the video. California High School is removing honors English classes in the name of racial equity. Culver City High School reportedly losing the classes because there weren't enough black and Latino students enrolled in the class. So as you can see, they pulled this off. The Culver City Unified School District has gotten rid of their English honors curriculum due to the fact that a left-wing equity-based organization has convinced them that having an honors program actually plays into the long history of evil white racism. Aren't those evil white racists so racist? How dare they create an English honors program that disproportionately has Asian students in it because Asian students typically study harder even harder than white students. Wow, what evil white racist. So the organization behind this is the Culver City Families for Education and Equity, and they argued and introduced this resolution at Tuesday's meeting, saying that this all plays in to the long history of inequity and requires a robust and varied array of learning opportunities so students at all levels can get the support they need to achieve their highest potential. Quote, our beloved local school district, Culver City Unified School District, is in crisis. We have entrenched patterns of disparity amongst different student population when it comes to academic performance and an alarming reduction of educational opportunities that are available to every student with no input from key stakeholders, parents, families, and students. How did you find out that this policy was uh, coming into effect in your school? Well, um, the, the parents were you of, the notified? Affected, of the affected, yes, we were. We, we got an email um, saying that the, the school was going to align the English uh, curriculum with the district's equity plan. And that was the, the first I've ever heard of this. Um, and then, of course, looking into the school's equity plan, um, I was, that right away, I was, that was troubled by it. Right. What troubles you about it? I know that you are of Cuban descent. Um, you heard that they want to make everyone equal. What does that tell you? Well, I mean, um, if, if you look at the equity plan, it's, um, you would think that they would define what equity means, but of course it's, it's uh, yeah. not defined. And, uh, um, it's just about everybody I know um, would agree that, that we want to provide equal um, opportunity to all students. And a lot of people would also agree that we want to provide uh, the students um, based on their individual need. But the, the way that this plan is, is uh, drafted, equity is, is uh, defined in terms of achieving equal outcomes and that's seemingly at all right. costs by getting rid of honors now other parents of course were shocked and very disturbed by the fact that they were going to pull out the honors classes from the school replace it with this one size fits all lowest common denominator option due to the fact that the racial breakdown of the courses didn't make people in administration feel good and didn't make equity-based organizations feel good However, there was a bunch of people at this school board meeting that gave statements about how, oh my God, the racism is the evil white racism underlying cause of this. We got to do something about those evil white racism, evil white racism. Quote, the district has not addressed the underlying issues of underrepresentation experienced by black and brown students in honors classes and has replaced 
previous honors content with a one size fits all class that's not serving the interests of many students in particular, does not address the specific need for additional support for underperforming students while ignoring the needs of higher performing students, one parent said. Now look, I disagree with half of that quote. This idea that underperforming students are the fault of inequities and all these problems in systemic structures and structural nonsense and all that is just completely wrong and I will prove that wrong to you later on in this video. However, I do want to point out that this person has a more liberal rather than leftist response because essentially what she's trying to say is that we should keep the honors classes for the higher performing students and try to raise up the lower performing students while giving some kind of credence, which is totally undeserved, to the history of systemic structural racism and all that, which is just nonsense. That's not why blacks and Latinos underperform it just get that nonsense out of your head but she's trying to say hey we should raise up the worst students and not lower everybody down so that we're only serving the lowest common denominator which again is sensible in comparison to what they're doing however what i want to point out is that what we see time and time again each and every time that we remove barriers from our system is that asian students tend to overperform when they got rid of affirmative action in california public schools what we saw was was not white enrollment skyrocket we saw asian enrollment skyrocket because when you put these kind of caps and you try to handicap successful groups it turns out asians are amongst the most successful so they're the most negatively impacted and this is not an issue of wealth versus not wealth this is a cultural issue about the emphasis of education versus not emphasizing education. One of the most stunning statistics that you can look at is Asian performance across socioeconomic categories on standardized tests. Now, when you look at the test scores of low income Asians, low education from the parents in the Asian category, what you find out is that they're actually higher than upper income black and Hispanics. Now, a lot of people will say, oh, well, maybe the Asians have more more cognitive ability and that is represented in the lower income demographics and the higher income demographics in the United States of America. Now that is quite an interesting theory but I need to point out that if an Asian student has an IQ gap between a white student of 15 IQ points meaning the Asian let's say is at 100 and the white student is at 115 the Asian student even though that's a standard deviation apart will actually score at the exact same level as the higher IQ white person and this is largely due to the fact that asian students on average spend twice as long on schoolwork than do their white counterparts and white students on average spend twice as long on their homework as their black counterparts so there's a 4x advantage in terms of work for the Asian students as compared to the black students. So expecting an equal representation or a proportional population representation makes no sense when you understand those factors. Well, some parents in Culver City are pushing back against the school district. Yeah, an honors English class was eliminated because of racial equity initiative. According to the Wall Street Journal, the honors courses were removed because they did not enroll enough black and Latino students. They were instead replaced with regular classes. The district says that decision ensures all students receive equal instruction, but some parents say the move actually takes away opportunities for students with diverse backgrounds. The fact of the matter is, despite what you might have heard about standardized testing, not measuring anything except for people's ability to take standardized tests or them being culturally biased or anything like that, in reality, what these standardized tests actually are, are great equalizers. When we started switching from allowing people based solely on legacy or connections to be admitted to our higher institutions of learning and switch to standardized tests, what we found out was that there were a bunch of people who were being deprived access to these institutions that were qualified for those institutions across socioeconomic backgrounds, and this allowed people to elevate themselves throughout our society society to different varying levels of success and yes there are huge cultural components in this if you are a population that believes that acting white is the worst thing that you could possibly do and studying well in school and speaking proper english you put in the category of acting white then yes you are going to fail at life you're going to fail in these standardized tests because that's what these standardized tests are actually measuring your ability to think on your feet your ability to speak english properly your ability to do math 
and all of that. However, if you're somebody who actually emphasizes education, understanding that education is not a white thing, and in fact, you develop your own cram schools, which by the way, the first cram school in the United States of America was opened up by a Korean immigrant who owned a small bodega in the city of New York. This is a fact. You can look it up. And it was done for poor students modeled after what they do in Korea in order to prepare for more competitive standardized testing. Then you understand why Asians, even if they're at an IQ disadvantage, do better than every other demographic in the United States of America. And yes, I'm speaking specifically to East Asians in that example, but there are cram schools for other people. And it's not just a rich thing. In fact, it's one of these weird things where rich white people have them, but Asians across all socioeconomic demographics have him because Asians value education across all socioeconomic demographics. So yeah, what the Culver City School District is pulling here is not going to help black students. It's not going to help Latino students. This idea that we're going to have to bring everything down so that everything finds its equal level at the lowest possible point is never a good idea. And largely due to the fact that these people come from cultures and households that value education, you're still going to get a disparity, but you're going to get an even more dramatic disparity and you're going to have all of these parents that actually care about their kids look for alternatives in order to get them that better edge because again they had these honors programs for a reason and if you remove them if you lower their education over at the top these people are going to go more towards tutoring more towards cram schools and all of that stuff in order to get that in a way that is not going to be through the school. So essentially, what you're going to do is basically put a paywall behind something that was originally just behind an achievement wall and black students could have had access to, but if they're poor, they won't be able to have access to and they don't have these resources in their communities like low-income Asian communities typically do. So what you're going to see is a greater disparity between blacks and Hispanics and their white and Asian counterparts. And believe me, if I thought this could help i would say i'm for it i want students to improve their educational prospects i got nothing against black and latino students believe me i'm half latino myself i want them to do better i would love it if we had an education culture in the puerto rican community that emphasized achievement in the school system and we saw better outcomes i mean i look at the cuban numbers and their successes and i want to emulate that success rather than tear them down unfortunately what has taken hold in culver city is a desire to take everything down to the lowest level, blame racism and external factors for issues that are within the students, and shift responsibility from the household of the students, from the parents of the students, from the cultural norms of the students to the school and to the idea that other people are doing better, so there must be some kind of historical injustice somewhere. But hey, those are just my thoughts. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. If you liked the video, show me by leaving a like, subscribe for more content, follow me on all my social medias, support me via the support links in the description of this video. This has been me talking about the removal of honors classes in Culver City. Till next time.